Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come in and say hey. Let me know you're here. I'm going to get y'all pulled up so I can see your comments, of course. Good morning. Is it still morning? It is still morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> hello, hello. What's everybody doing? Are y'all staying warm? I'm putting my... Um, my link in for those that need boards so my link will give you an automatic five percent off your boards so if you're needing them you can go grab them girl I ain't getting no pickles <laughs> no pickles <laughs> but I was so sad because they didn't have any Diet Coke, y'all. And my husband's going to die without his Diet Coke. But I was so sad for him, I got my hair dye. <laughs> so I dyed my hair. <laughs> he going to be so mad. <laughs> oh, what do you do? What do you do? And I got me some lemon cake. That's our secret. <laughs> so, hey, hey, hey. So I am doing a beehive wreath. Now, if you were in the VIP group, I showed y'all how to make the half beehives. Um, so I am going to put this in a wreath. So we are using the large flower board. Um, so I have done every other. I know this looks like a hot mess. It always does um, when I get started. So I'll flip it over so you can better see what I'm doing. Um, so I did every other pipe cleaner and zip tie on row one. I did just the zip ties, or I'm sorry, this is row one, so this is row two. So I did every other zip tie and pipe cleaner on row two. I did all zip ties on row three. I did all pipe cleaners on row four, and then I did the two um, in the middle on each side of zip ties because I'm putting everyone that has a pipe cleaner on the outside is gonna get a um, set of tails. Um, and then if I need tails, then I have my pipe cleaners already in that section. So, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so lucky to find pickles. <laughs> oh, y'all are cracking me up. Yeah, water is hard to find. If anybody is in the League City area, Hometown Heroes does have water. So go grab you a case, okay? Um, we are fine, so y'all go get you some. Um, I'm going to use this um, herringbone. I love pairing the herringbone with the bee ribbon. Um, can you repost the American flag you did on the angel wing? Are you looking for the the live that I did it, all the lives you can find on my YouTube channel. Whiskey and pickle packs. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I have cut all my tails to uh, 16 inches. So that's what we're using. I am going to be doing poofs using our black mesh. Hey, hey, hey. So, I'm going to bring y'all down, and we will go ahead and get started. I'll make sure y'all can see what I'm doing, see where I'm at. What's up, what's up, everybody? So, let's get these out of the way. I was going to do crumples, and I cut all this mesh, but then I was like, no, nah, I don't want to do crumples. I want to do um, poofs. <laughs> So, hello, I know our stores are crazy. Well, and the thing is, they had to throw just about everything away. 
um, because literally just about every place lost power. Um, so, you know, and that was the the downside. I, I kept looking at all the ice cream and they had it all blocked off. I was like, but I want some ice cream. <laughs> and they're like, but you can't have it. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> So I am going to go ahead. I'm grabbing my measure buddy and we're going to do 10 inch poofs. So I'm just going to bring it out to the 10 inch. So just your measure buddy by itself is eight. Um, you pull outside one, it goes to 14. You pull outside two and it goes to 20. How awesome is that? This is the large board. And no busted pipes. Yeah, that's, oh gosh, the busted pipes, y'all. It's crazy. All right, so I've got my measure buddy set to 10 inches. So I'm going to start, I usually start right here at the top. It doesn't matter, but I do usually, even if I don't start at the top, I'll start in a pipe cleaner. That way when I come back around, all I have to do is undo this and put my next poof right in there. So we're just going to gather it. Maybe. <laughs> I'm having some problems this morning, y'all. All right. And just give it a quick twist, okay? going to take our measure buddy. We're going to measure out 10 inches. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure when I bring it into my zip tie, I'm taking it to the outside of the board so that it covers up the side. If you take it to the inside of the board, you're going to have all this open. So make sure that you take it to the outside. And I'm just going to zip tie this bad boy in. Hey, hey, hey. If I'm using a character board, yes, I still make my poofs 10 inches, depending on what you're doing and depending on the image you're using in the side. I usually don't use character boards um, for that reason, but you most definitely can. I should actually... I'm gonna put it on my mesh holder, y'all. If not, I'm gonna be cussing in a minute. There we go. Okay. Got milk? Nope. <laughs> oh, I don't have milk. That is one thing that we don't, I keep enough. I only buy like the half gallon of milk because we don't drink milk. The only one that drinks it is Monkey. Um, and he's only here every other day and every other weekend. So I don't buy gallons of milk because it would just go to waste. But that's the only thing we don't have. Everything else, we are good. Y'all, I actually, I actually ordered groceries right before this whole thing started. So... We are okay. Now I'm not going to worry about poofing these out until I get all the poofs on there. Touch this strong, that's right. So what's everybody else's weather doing? Are y'all doing okay? <laughs> I think the whole country is kind of in shock mode right now. Good morning. Thanks for floating my boat.
This is just regular black deco mesh. Just regular black. But what my mesh keeps getting caught on down there. Freezing in Indiana, I bet. I have a cousin, or I have several cousins in Indiana, and uh, she posted some pictures. I was like, holy cow. The snow she had, I was like, man. Exactly, Linda. See, I'm the same way. I always have food, especially meat, because we're big meat eaters and big egg eaters. Um, so I always bought the uh, the big size eggs, the like the two case eggs. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Um, so we, we always have eggs. Fourteen inches of snow. Just sweatshirt weather. Well, we are, the, last night was the first night or the last night that we're going to have below freezing temps. So from today on, we should be good to go. So hopefully people can start to get their lives back together here anyway in, in South Texas. Now North Texas, Dallas area and, and up there, they're still, they're still bad y'all. Yep, family not laughing at food, right? <laughs> Exactly, Teresa. Yeah, that's why we're we're fine. We did hit 28 last night, but that was the last night we're supposed to be below freezing. Four inches of rain. You finally caught me live. Yay! y'all wouldn't mind floating my boat, I'd appreciate it. Below freezing for two weeks today in Central Ohio, I'm sure. But y'all's y'all's houses are more weatherized for this. We're not. But it's still, I mean, it's still cold no matter how you look at it, for sure. North Dakota, oh my, minus 30? Holy cow. How? I, I guess I shouldn't complain, but I'm going to complain. <laughs> Minus 47. What the what? The coldest winter in years? Yes. Right, Deb? <laughs> we definitely needed a couple freezes, but we didn't need all this. Hello. And isn't, is this year the year of the locusts? Is it this year? And you're covered in ice. And check on our house, dear. Oh no, you're living, oh, hill country. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. All right, we're almost done with this outside row. Did I manage to get any food? No, no meat or anything. Um, but I baked, basically just went for Diet Coke. Y'all, they didn't even have any Diet Dr. Pepper. I had to get regular Dr. Pepper. They had no Diet Coke for my hubby, so he's not going to be happy. But I basically went for that stuff, junk food, deodorant, <laughs> those kinds of things. And I just happened to go by the meat and all that just to see um, what all was there. And I was like, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm putting every other in a pipe cleaner or zip tie. Yes, ma'am. How do you join your VIP group? Carrie, we'd love to have you. If you um, look at my page, that information is all pinned at the top of my page. And we are having a ball in there. 
So last week I taught everybody how to make um, three different beehives. Um, and, uh, you know, we have wreath critiques. We have Q&A every Monday. And, and then me and Lori are always popping in there and doing something. Um, so you're guaranteed three lives a week. But y'all were in there more than three times a week for sure. Okay, so I've got this first row done. I came back to where I started. Now I'm just going to transition to that next row. So I'm literally just going to take and wrap my mesh and bring it in. Measure our 10 inches and stick it in a pipe cleaner, y'all. Stick it in a pipe cleaner. I don't know why I just said that in song. <laughs> The where I know, no, Diet Dr. Pepper. Usually I drink caffeine free Diet Dr. Pepper, but at this point I didn't care if it was just Diet Dr. Pepper, but they didn't have any. <laughs> I set my alarm last night and got up at 1 to join. <laughs> Yay. We do. We have a ball in there. Sally, of course you can. Um, anybody can join. You even get, for some of our kits, you even get um, exclusive access um, or you get first dibs on, on some of our kits. Not all of them, but some of them. <clears throat> and $20 a month, if you get in there and laugh as much as we do. Y'all, it's, sometimes it's like comedy hour. I swear. Lori gave birth last week, y'all. I can't tell you. I can't show you. But she gave birth. You've never worn this kind of bread and do bread. Yes, Samantha, these are so much fun. I did post the link. If y'all need your boards, my link will automatically give you 10% off. Um, and I'll post it again here in a second. It is. We laugh. We laugh until we cry sometimes, y'all. Right? She gave birth, Teresa. <laughs> oh, but I can't show you. Yes, it is only $20 a month. Yes, ma'am. And you get two designers. You get Lori from Unique in the Creek and you get myself. Worth every penny. <laughs> oh, almost lost it. All right, this row all just only has zip ties. So I don't have to worry about the pipe cleaners. This is why I don't poof these out as we go, because there's too much stuff in here, y'all. Uh, Susan, because everyone that has, it's easier for me to add tails um, in the ones that have pipe cleaners. Now, I do it both ways to show y'all that it can be done, um, but my preferred way is um, using the pipe cleaners. So all the ones that have pipe cleaners are going to be getting a set of tails. It's just easier for me to do that. Um, but I, sh I show y'all both ways. <clears throat> the biggest thing when you're doing this is make sure that you take your poofs to the outside. <laughs> I 
I do use the Measure Buddy for um, measuring my tails as well um, because you literally just wrap it. You can bring it out both sides and, and just keep wrapping. And then it's got a slit right here that you can run your scissors down and cut your your tails so yes i love this is is probably a must have for every wreather i'm just saying if you have nothing else and you do unique in the creek you need a zip tie gun and you need your measure buddy and you need your boards <laughs> You just sent out two? Awesome, Stacy. Congratulations. There's some weird piece of orange foil in here. <laughs> Let's get that out of there. I don't need orange foil. Uh, the Measure Buddies, Lenore, Eleanor, I think, don't get me lying, they're like 12 bucks, I think. They even come with it, and I don't use it because it, it drives me nuts, but it comes with a clip. That way, when you're wrapping, you don't have to hold it when you first start. It's got a clip that you can just slide your ribbon through, and it holds it in place. I don't use it, but it is there. What size sunflower, Senna, do you use on the... Um, I generally use my, um, five inch. Now I usually make my own centers. Um, I use five inch styrofoam balls. So by the time I get them wrapped, they're usually five and a half, six inches. <clears throat> but even just a five inch covered in glitter works just fine. All right. We are on to the next row. Now I put pipe cleaners in this row just in case I needed to add tails, but I may not once I get everything on here. So we're going to see about that one. Your clips already broke. <laughs> you are Vicki. Yay, 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 yay. Y'all, we have wreath critiques in the VIP group. And so, you know, if people are having problems selling their wreath or they just want an opinion, they can put it in there. But last night, we still have some girls who haven't posted a wreath on wreath critique, so I challenged two of them. So I'm gonna see, and one of them just said she was following through. So I'm gonna be checking on the other one too. I'm not gonna call you out, but I know who you are. <laughs> I know who you are. So doing it this way, you'll only use one roll of mesh. And that's generally my goal in doing these boards is only using one roll of mesh. So it can be done. Well, thanks for the stars, Deb. I'll see you in two days. Nadine, girl, you want me to call you out? <laughs> I know, Gail. Isn't it horrible? Horrible, horrible, horrible. And they got the ice and the snow. We mainly just got the ice in our side. Okay, so all I'm doing, I'm in the middle. So I'm just literally going to take, let me take it off of this. And I'm just going to do my two poofs. So here's the back. So this is row one that I've done nothing to. 
Yay, Edna, I'm so excited. Um, so nothing in row one. Row two is every other zip tie and pipe cleaner. Row three is every zip tie. Row four is every pipe cleaner. And then row five, I'm literally just filling in that center. No, Brenda, I still haven't got my coat. I keep checking every day. They're like, your scheduled delivery is behind. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, if I had to go to Tennessee without a coat, but at this point, it don't even matter because it's going to be in the 50s and I am good, I guess. <laughs> Just bringing it around. Zip tying it in. You got six inches of snow? Yikes. I've got, I'm trying to think how many I've got. One, two, I may have three poops. I'm just going to fill in the center so that I don't have just extra, I hate extra 10 inch mesh laying around. So I'm just gonna fill it in. Sometimes y'all know, you're, if you're finding that sometimes your 10 inch rolls of mesh aren't always 10 inches. Stacy, you are skin and bone. There is no way I can get my Corona body in your coats. <laughs> no way. I appreciate it, though. We'll go shopping, right? <laughs> It is beginning to thaw out. Charge it to Dre, right? pipe cleanered my zip tie into that one. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can get it out without undoing that and still holding on. Oh, I did it. Okay. Let's fix this one. <laughs> okay. I got her done. Dre left today, so you can't call her. For... <laughs> uh, I got Dre's personal number now. I get a hold of her if I need to. All right, I've got enough for one more poof. So I'm just going to add it. That way I can just throw this away. So if you're to this point, you may already be out, but that's all right. So you're not going to need it anyway. I'm just adding it because I'm almost out. We're making a beehive wreath. Do the zip ties? Yes. I'll show you. I'll see if I can show you. Perfect. Hold on, let me see if I can grab. All right, so I've got a board. So you literally just take your zip tie. You've got the flat end of the zip tie faces to the ceiling. You take it down one set of hole, one hole, and then up the one right next to it. You want to hear that zip? Okay. Now let's see if I can do this. 
this has little y'all don't look at my nails i'm getting them done tomorrow hopefully <laughs> um this has teeth on it so when you pull the trigger it tightens and then when it gets tight enough it literally cuts your zip tie so it feeds right in there <clears throat> pulls it pull it again when it's tight enough it cuts it okay thanks for floating my boat yes this is 10 inch mesh all right so let's go in and poof these out really quick you love Gatlinburg I do too I haven't been in years we took the kids to Dollywood and then when I got back from where did I go oh when I got back from Desert Storm me and my husband took a trip and we traveled Tennessee and then came up back through Gatlinburg just to get some time away I'll, I'll turn it over in just a second. Deb, we ain't doing no deck on Deb. My, okay, so Deb's my cousin. And she is trying to get me Gatlin, go to go on the Gatlinburg Bridge. If you don't know what the Gatlinburg Bridge is, it is a bridge 140 miles in the air. And it's see-through. It's glass, y'all. She expects me to get on that and walk across it. She has lost her mind. Here, I'll post my link again. This is the direct link where you can order the boards and you can get the measure buddy, but you only get the 5% off on the boards and nothing else, but that'll save you a little money. Oh, I'm sure we'll make it to the Christmas store. She ate her way through it. She never got anything she didn't want to eat. <laughs> now this one is not a kit as soon as I get back from Gatlinburg I'll be working on bringing all of my spring kits out um, more of the butterfly kits will be coming um, so patriotic um, my um, my pink and purple one my blue one um, and the Monarch, so the orange and black, all of those will be coming out. Um, I'll be working on my Sarah Flower kits. Sig back and Margarita, right? I'm with you, Stacy. Come on now. <laughs> There's an underground bridge in VA. The Titanic. Ooh, I bet that would be cool. Okay, so I'm gonna... Let's go ahead and add our tails. I'm going to take this pipe cleaner. So here is the back. So I literally just filled in that circle. And you're only going to be able to do that if you have enough mesh. Okay. Um, so here is the layout. This is how I did it. You crawled across anchor. <laughs> no. So right up here, you'll see two holes right together. That is the top of your board. So I am taking an odd pipe cleaner. That way I always know. Oh, here we go, y'all. I always know where the top of my board is. That way I don't put anything on crooked. The Alcatraz Museum. Oh, really? All right, hold on, y'all. Okay. All right, so all my tails are cut at 16 inches. So I literally just lay one right on top of the other. Scrunch them. And we're going to put a set of tails in all the ones that have pipe cleaners on the outside. Okay. Let's 
do I know when the next sale is? As soon as my my shipment gets here, I ordered. Um, but Louisiana is just as closed down as we are, y'all. Old Mill Restaurant Paula Deans. Oh, yes. Yes. Look, I'm all about food, y'all. I told you. I didn't get this body by not liking food, that's for sure. The burning bush. We also need to go to, now I'm just, because nothing else is going in here, I'm just literally twisting them a few extra times. Oh, it's two different restaurants. Okay, gotcha. My husband used to watch Paula Dean all the time. I know it looks like you can still maybe see the board, but I promise you will not be able to. Here, let me add my link again for y'all. Oh, it doesn't want to. There you go. So there's the my link. So that link will give you 5% off your boards. Everything's better with butter. Amen. <laughs> you need some wise onion rings. Where do they sell them? I've never heard of it. Thanks, Susan. The Tale of the Dragon. Yeah, my cousin's done that too. They, Her husband drives or has a Harley. And they, I think they try to go every year to Tennessee. And so I know I've heard that. Oh, I know, Lori. Cry. I'm going to make a flat Lori today at some point. That way Lori can travel with us. And she can be on the Gatlinburg Bridge with, with Deb, because I'm not going, but Deb will take you. <laughs> so Lori will be with us. But y'all see how I bring that up? So that it's not just laying out over the edge of the mesh. So I'm literally going under and bringing it up. That way you get that nice curl and it's not just laying over that mesh. Looking like uh, spidey legs. <laughs> flat Lori may give birth. You never know what Flat Lori's going to do. <laughs> not with me. <laughs> It was insane, but fun. <laughs> yeah, we'll be FaceTiming her for sure. For sure. Wouldn't really answer questions because they were worn 10 years ago. Ugh. Where do you order what kit? 
Clap, Lori better get drunk. <laughs> um, all my kits that I have are available on my website, monkeyscreations.com. Um, but I don't have any available right now. Um, the butterfly, the picture I could butterfly sold out the same day I put it up. Um, so as soon as I get back from Gatlinburg, I'll be working on all the kits. Newbie, well, welcome. Any other newbies? Anybody is who? Give me a thumbs up if it's your first time watching me. Be brave, little one. Be brave. <laughs> oh, this one isn't a kit. No. But this one is available to purchase on my website. <laughs> A shameless little plug. All right. So I'm just going to do these, fan these out just a little bit. I'm not worried too much, but I want you all to see kind of what it's going to look like. And then we'll get the beehive added. You ain't new. Hi, hi, hi. Well, there's a couple of you. Well, welcome. I am Michelle from Monkey's Creations. So if you have any questions, let me know. You're new. Well, welcome, Terry and Robin and Michelle Ann. Hopefully I said that right. And Tina, first time watching. Awesome. Rose, look at all y'all. Y'all, y'all can't be quiet on my live. Y'all need to talk to me. I like to yap. But the good thing about my yapping is I work at the same time. Happy Saturday, my New Zealand friend. Okay, so that's just a real quick job on the tails. So, I'm finding my top again. And we're going to figure out when I made this beehive, I added this ribbon because I knew it was going in a wreath. So I'm just gonna tighten this up. I'm gonna plug in my glue gun in case I need it. Which means I have to move everything else out of my way because I can't take an hour to clean up my table. Okay. So let's get this fixed. We didn't get, oh, we didn't. It is Friday. Y'all, I've lost all track of days this week. I'm telling you. Yes, I will go back and trim those pipe cleaners for sure. But I do it at the very end just in case. Okay, I don't know where my clippies went. So don't use your good scissors. You will tell him I said happy birthday. I was going to say something else. What was I going to say? Somebody said something. Okay. I don't know. I missed it. All right. So I am literally going to... I think I'm going to put this right here. So let's fish and find some holes. And the little bees I got 
from Craft Outlet. They come in a pack. They have the bees and the ladybugs. Remind me when I'm almost done, and I'll show you the ladybugs. The Friday dance. Was I talking about it being Friday? Y'all, I'm so confused. <laughs> so confused. <laughs> okay, for all you newbies, every Friday, we get a little crazy up here in Monkey's Creations. We always do the Friday dance because we're so excited. It's stinking Friday and the weekend is here. So everybody up, get out of your chair, get off the couch. You better not be in the bed. Everybody stand up. You ready? It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> There's your Friday dance. <laughs> uh. All right, just find another set of holes. Hold on, let me make sure my hive is going the way I want it. That's why I don't worry too much about my tails, because y'all, there's no sense in worrying about them when you're just going to mess them up trying to get everything awesome. You dance in your chair? Yay! Okay, I did it. Get this mesh back in place. Yeah, I didn't like where it was. Sorry, y'all. All right, I'm just going to. There we go. I think that's what I want. See y'all, I wasn't, I started out paying attention and then I didn't. Hold on. It might be okay. Let's make a bow. And then we'll see if we have to move that. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, so I'm gonna. Now, I want big flowing tails, so I am going to do some long tails. Well, y'all know I, I do long tails anyway. <laughs> I did make my beehive. Um, I made these in group, um, but I did do last year, I did a beehive on my, on this page, um, and it's loaded on my YouTube channel, but I'm not, ex I don't quite remember which one I made, but I know I made a couple beehives. So you can go check them out on YouTube. How tall is it? Goodness, I don't know. About that tall. So about 10, 11 inches. Hello, hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh. 
good. I'm glad I made y'all. Y'all, you know, sometimes we just need to laugh and act a fool, and it's okay. Because I know this week has been rough on me, having people in and out and cooking and warming up and taking showers. And so, you know what? Sometimes you just got to act like it just don't matter. And the beehive is made out of jute. All right, I'm going to bring our B ribbon. Now, our B ribbon is directional, y'all. So. I'll show you real quick how to do that. We're gonna start off the same though. Am I gonna sell the beehives? I probably will sell some beehives. Um, I'll be working on tons of stuff as soon as I get back from Gatlinburg. But I, I will probably sell, sell some. Well, actually I kind of I kind of don't mind that it's like that, but I'll show y'all if you cut it off right here before you make your final tail, just cut it off. Oh goodness, sorry y'all. We don't have to boil our water anymore. I'm gonna do another happy dance. has been lifted. I'm just going to cut me off another tail. I'm just going to scrunch it and we're going to stick it right in there just like that. That way both of our tails are going the same way. Okay. gonna come back in with the one and a half inch yes I'm so excited you got it Vicki <laughs> yay it's the little things y'all it's the little things uh, Debbie there is an old video on my YouTube channel how I made the beehives last year but I don't remember exactly which ones I did and which ones I showed. I don't think I showed the one that I'm using today. You were hit. Michelle, girlfriend. <laughs> no, 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 don't so. It's okay, Vicki. I won't make fun of you. <laughs> All right, we're going to lift it up. I'm going to take my pipe cleaner, run it right through there, lift it up very carefully, y'all. Take my pipe cleaner, hold it tight, and twist it. All right, get this back out of the way. Why do I have four loops? 
Oh, because this one goes over there. I was like, y'all let me do four loops? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get this fluffed out a little bit. We're melting. <laughs> Dre. Have y'all left yet? I've been meaning to message you all morning, but I keep forgetting. Will you be selling a wreath like this? This one is for sale. It is already listed on my website. So monkeyscreations.com. It is already listed. So I'm just going to dovetail my ends. Yeah, it's definitely open. Oh, you're leaving in the morning. Oh, I could have sworn. Yeah, I see that. I just thought y'all were leaving today, but I'm glad you're you're being safe because that's a that's a long trek, y'all. I have made that trek many times, and it's not fun. All right. So I'm not paying attention. Obviously, I didn't pay attention. Even though I had my pay attentioner attached, I didn't pay attention. So I'm just going to do this the way it is, and then I'll move everything around so that y'all can see it. So I'm just going to find two more holes to put our bow in. <clears throat> Yeah, 17 hours. Yeah. We had to do it twice a couple years ago. First, my, my uncle died, and we, we drove down, and then um, got back home a week later, and then not even two weeks after that, my uncle died. So we had to make that trek back. So it is it's a long trek. Sorry, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find the hoe, y'all. There we go. All right, let's get our bow. Get that over there. And you can tug on these. If you've got that pipe cleaner tight enough, you can tug on these a little bit to get them where you want them to go. Get these a curl. So 
we'll have to stop and oh no yeah i don't know where mine are either dre and my coat hasn't come yet <laughs> so i'm coming to gatlinburg with no coat probably because it's somewhere in amazon land uh, this ribbon probably i know i got the b ribbon wholesale um the herringbone probably came from craft outlet because i've had it a couple years or a year and a half or so Now the the bees, um, the bees I got from. Let me make sure. Is this the one? Yeah, I'll show y'all. Let me get this out of my way for just a second. So the bees I got from Craft Outlet. So you get, obviously I've used quite a few, um, so you get the big B and you get the little B's and then they have the ladybugs. So you get the, the big and the little, all of these come in the same pack. So the ladybugs and then the B's in a separate pack. Um, yeah, you can get B ribbon just about anywhere right now. So if you're looking for bees or ladybugs, Craft Outlet, um, I know Amazon sells them as well. So you can go check them out there. 28 degrees today. Well, it's supposed to be, I looked at the weather, um, and it's supposed to be 50s when we get there. I'm not leaving till Sunday. I'm flying in Sunday, so it better be in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> all right so all I did was glue these on here oh look Anna's on top of it thanks good friend your uncle Sam package is still in Texas oh yeah nothing has gone out this week for sure you have to make your own <laughs> Um, so these come with the sticky backings, but y'all don't depend on those. So take that backing off and use some hot glue as well, just to ensure that it does not go anywhere. And you can just literally add them to your beehives just for little added fun decorations. Oh, uh, well, I should be okay. I've got sweatshirts. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you. Let me see where I want to add any more. Maybe let's put one on the bow. What do y'all think? Not that I... I'm really giving you a choice because I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> I think three. I don't want to inundate it with bees either. And this ribbon holds really good. I just love using this harem bone. Add one to your black and white bow. Oh, this one? I did it, dear friend. All right, let me unglue this. Otherwise, it will be on all day. 
And then what I do is I'll literally go in here and I'll just cut these off. I'm not going to do it with my good scissors. Um, and my cutters are obviously not in here. They're in the other room. So for now, I'll just kind of bend these down. But just know that these are going to be cut off so you get a nice, clean, a nice, clean look. Back up. I won't spend too much time on this bow since it's going to be moved. But look, I can literally just... Look how cute that is. So any questions? But I'll go in and, and make sure it's it's sitting right on the board. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So you can add your beehives to your wreaths and they can make such a statement. Um, they don't have to just sit on your counter and look cute. Add them to a wreath, y'all. So any questions? You too, y'all are so welcome. If you curl the pipe cleaners around your finger, yeah, you can do that. I just, I don't like that look, and it's just personal preference. Um, doesn't mean that it looks bad when other people do it. It's just not my, my thing. Um, but yeah, you could definitely just wrap them and have a little curly cue. Um, but I'll, I'll cut mine off for this. All right, y'all. Well, if y'all don't have any questions, I'm out of here. But I am around. I will be leaving. What's today's Friday? Oh, my days. Today's Friday. So tomorrow is all about me, y'all. I got to get my nails done, my toes done. I got to do all the things, and I've got to pack. I haven't even packed. So, <laughs> um, Gatlinburg is wine and design. Um, with Andrea Brown from Ranch House and Dylan Palmer from Dylan Palmer Designs. Um, so it's uh, the wine and design retreat this weekend in Gatlinburg. And I'm so stinking excited to get out of here, y'all. <laughs> but I'll be around. Um, yeah, B buttons. Somebody else mentioned B buttons. Where did they get them? Was it Dana? Um, Hobby Lobby, I think, has B buttons, and you could just cut the button part off the back of it and glue it right to your beehive. Um, so, yeah, you can do all kinds of things, y'all. You can add little lights to your beehives. Um, you can add, here's one, the other one that we did in the group. So, this is your full on beehive. Um, so you can add greenery. Obviously, I'm going to add more greenery. Um, you can add your flowers. Um, you can do all kinds of things with these, y'all. So this is the full beehive that we did in group. All right. Oh, was it Walmart? B buttons at Hobby Lobby. Okay, but Walmart has them too, y'all. So... Y'all just have fun with them. You can even get the the bee um, the bee fairy lights and put on them. Um, I've seen some with the uh, the ladders with a bee walking up the ladder. That would be cute. So think outside the box and um, have fun with them. 
All right, if I can find, I'll go and I will find the one I did last year. Now, like I said, I don't remember what beehives I did live last year, but I'll post it on this page, okay? So y'all can find it very easily. All right, I am out of here. Y'all have a great day. Um, I may move to see what I get done tomorrow and what I get done today. Y'all, I'm still trying to catch up on laundry because we really couldn't wash or weren't supposed to be washing. Um, so I do need to get caught up on laundry as well. But Oh, bee push pens. There you go. That's an awesome idea. For sure. All right, I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day. And you'll hear from me before I leave. And um, we'll take you through Gatlinburg as we we uh, go on the bridge, supposedly. I'll take y'all on the bridge with me. Why not, right? Um, so I will see y'all later. Bye, y'all.